Hi. Now, in the last part of this question, we've got to find out the thrust in the rod as the system decelerates. And in the previous part, we found out that the acceleration was minus 3.75 meters per second per second. You'll notice it's a minus here. That's the acceleration. The deceleration would be just 3.75 meters per second per second. Now, to do this problem, we've got to find this thrust that acts on the particles. It's denoted here as T dash Newtons. It's equal and opposite, both on P and on Q. And it doesn't matter which particle you work with, you should get exactly the same answer. And I'll do both versions for you so you can compare. So suppose you decide to work with particle P. Let's just put this down here. Consider P. Always tell the reader which particle you're working with. OK, so we're going to go for P. And I've always said to you that what you should do is always resolve in the direction of motion when you're doing problems on resolving, where something's moving. So if I stick to that, I'm going to resolve to the right, OK, because it's moving to the right. So that means that all forces that are to the left, which is the 1 Newton and the T dash Newtons, are going to be negative because they're in the opposite sense to this. So what we're going to have then is minus 1 minus T dash. Okay. As for these two forces, the reaction and the weight, they don't affect this answer here because they're perpendicular to the direction we're resolving in. OK, so this is the overall force acting on P. And this is equal to the mass, which we know is 0.3 kilograms, times the acceleration. And the acceleration, and this is where you've got to take care, is minus 3.75. OK, so that's going to be minus 3.75. Now, if I tidy this up, we therefore have minus 1 minus t dash equals the result of 0.3 times minus 3.75, which comes out at minus 1.125. So to get t dash, all I've got to do is add t dash to both sides and add 1.125 to both sides. So I get that t dash equals 1.125 minus the 1. And that leaves me with the thrust, T dash, equaling 0.125 newtons. OK, so that's considering P. I did say, though, that you could consider Q. So let's go for that one, consider Q. Now, if we consider Q, Again, I'd want to resolve in the direction of motion, which will be to the right. So if we do that one, we've got T dash, which is acting to the right. That's going to be a positive force, minus, though, the two Newtons. Again, the reaction and the weight don't come into this because they're perpendicular to the direction we're resolving in. And this will equal the mass, which is 0.5, times the acceleration, which is minus 3.75. Again, you've got to be very careful with this minus here. So if we do this, simplify this, we've got T dash minus 2 equals 0.5 times minus 3.75. And that comes to minus 1.875. So to get T dash then, just add 2 to both sides. So you've got 2 minus the 1.875. Work that out and you get T dash equals 0.125 Newtons. OK, so I hope that gives you an idea then how to go about that question.